Hi everyone. I hope you're enjoying your day. I've been on the road all day and so I just got here to Denver where we're going to be having um, the solenoid uh, sword, sword workshop uh, here in Denver. So if you're in the area and want to catch up, let me know. Maybe we can get together. So for those of you who are here with me on live, please start asking your questions um, and we'll get to them as soon as I can. So, but today for the channeled message of uh, Seven Powers of the Soul channel, I would like to talk, we would like to talk, uh, <laughs> you know, have I ever explained how I work? So what I am is I am embodied my channel so instead of me being separate um, from my channel and letting them come in only when I declare it I've literally embodied the channel and so um, it's a different way of channeling but it works really easily for me and I like doing it this way better than the other way the way that I used to do it so so please say hello ask your questions when you're ready and um, we'll get started here. So, uh, first of all, I only have a couple spots left for Mount Shasta. So, if you're interested in uh, traveling and doing some deep work with the seven powers of the soul, uh, connecting with the Telos, which are the Lumerian um, beings who were left here and decided to go into the mountain. Uh, and if you want to remember your Lumerian life and Atlantic life, uh, that's the place to go. So that's the intent of that trip. And of course, Peru is still open. And um, if you're interested in Peru, let me know. It's the most amazing place in the world. So let's get started. Today we want to talk about uh, distractions. Like what distracts you from your purpose? Have you thought about the world as one gigantic distraction? Because literally, <laughs> that's what it, that's how I see it, is the world is a distraction. And every loop, every uh, belief system, every emotion, every thought form is part of the distraction. And so how do we, how do you know what your purpose is, right? And so at four o'clock this morning, I had a conversation <laughs> with my uh, channel, the team of mothers and anybody else who's in that uh, space at that time in the morning and we were discussing the main purpose of literally why we're here like what's the main purpose to be in this uh, projected reality and what it boiled down to after about an hour of having a discussion what it really boils down to is to experience your essence in a way that is um, in in the way of duality and separation, like forgetting that who we are, what we are. That's the main purpose, all right? So that is just this experience of who we are, what we are, our essence, and how does our essence, like literally... Um, how does it work in a place where nothing really seems real, although it is real, or we think it's real? <laughs> so if that's really our purpose, is to know our essence here in a space of opposites, basically, full of distractions that is full of distractions how do we really like get to feel that or be that it's not feeling we're not this isn't a really a feeling world although we're here to experience emotions that's part of the duality but what is the essence how do we get to know our real essence when we have the ego who is the duality portion of us that creates one distraction after another, after another, after another. Right? So 
So how, so what's the purpose of having distractions? Well, the purpose of having distractions is to keep separation alive, to keep the ego going, right? Without the ego, separation doesn't exist. Because when we come into this projected reality, the mind splits, right? Our, our mind splits into essence and ego. That's, that's what creates the duality within us. And this paradigm, this dimension, this third dimensional reality, that's how it works. It's all separated. And when we come in and we fragment ourselves, that's another distraction, right? And we fragment ourselves how many times throughout a day through the distractions? So think about that for the rest of the day. Think about how the fragments or the distractions keep you from being your essence, your love. How do the distractions keep you from being your love? Do you allow yourself to love yourself, everyone else, like at the depths of who you are without any restrictions on it? That's a tough question. What's really tough about the question? It's not a tough question. It's the reality of how much we deny ourselves or we put conditions on our love. So if we're distracted and we allow ourselves to be distracted, we will never ever get to the depths, to the real depths of who we are, our real essence, our real love. Do you see how duality like it's a it's a magnificent setup, right? But most of the time we go through the day, we don't even pay attention to how we split or how we um, fragment ourselves or how we distract ourselves or what we allow to distract us. So pay attention. Be hyper aware of what you allow to distract you from being, from being your essence, the truth of who you are. Pay attention to the words that you use. Do they represent, do they represent the truth of who you are? The emotions that you feel, do they represent the truth of who you are, your essence? The thoughts that you have, do they represent your essence? The people around you, do they represent your essence? Do you allow yourself to represent your essence? So pay attention to the distractors. And what's the purpose of the distractors? It's just simply to keep us fragmented so that we don't operate in wholeness. Because moving into the new earth, we have to operate in wholeness. Now, wholeness does not mean oneness. That's a false paradigm. Wholeness means that you are operating in the completeness of your essence, which if we came in fragmented or if we have pieces of ourselves, aspects of ourselves in other uh, dimensions or worlds or realities, then we're operating fragmentedly. Moving into the fifth dimension and beyond requires us to be a multidimensional being, which basically means that we know where those aspects are and that we can access them at any time that we want. That's the vividness of our dreams right now, right? Because our dreams are super vivid and some of them are so clear that we, we, like it's, we can almost believe that we're right there with them. And we are, because those are probably aspects of who we are now. Because dreams are not what they used to be. So 
So, so I want you to really get ah, comfortable. I want you to get comfortable with your essence, your love, the truth of the depths of who you are. Like sometimes I know that that could be overwhelming. I know when I stepped out into deeper into myself, like it was very overwhelming. And I had to grieve the old part of me because that part of me couldn't exist, couldn't exist in the new part of me, the more whole part of me. Because that's really my purpose is to work in wholeness and then help others to work in wholeness so that we can be our essence here in any dimension, really, in any reality that we create. So, welcome, Cindy. Hello. Hi, Elise. Corinne, hello. Hi, Lori. So, Cindy asks, I find that when I'm living in essence, my physical form becomes ill. Is this the ego trying to stay in control? Yes. Yes. This, is, this happens a lot. Like, this used to happen to me constantly. Um, I remember when I went to my first silent retreat, and some of you may have heard this story before, but I had strep throat and mono, um, and I was the sickest that I've ever been in my entire life. And it started about five days before I went, and I was so sick the day before, two days before, that I had called the um, – who was creating the retreat, I said, I, there's no way I could come because I'm so sick. All I did was sleep. And she's like, you know very well that this is cell memory or your ego trying to hold you back. And I said, yes, I realize that, but I don't think that I could drive eight hours to get to the retreat center. She's like, then take two days and you get here. And as soon as I pulled into the driveway of that retreat center, my illness went away instantly the craziest thing i've ever seen so yes when we get um when we get physically ill a good portion of that time is because the ego is still trying to hang on to something that we have cell memory someplace that really wants to um it doesn't want to change right it doesn't want to move it doesn't it wants you to stay in the space that you are because the ego does not like to change. It likes to, to just revolve around in its looping systems. Same thoughts, same words, same actions, same emotions, over and over and over. And when we introduce something newer, we want to experience something new. The ego knows that it has to make some sort of adjustment. So it will make the body sick. So yeah. How do you, how do you get past that? What I started doing was prepping myself. Um, when I go, when I take trips now and when I go, you know, on retreats, my own retreats or, or I attend a retreat, like I take extra vitamin C, D, um, at magnesium. And I start doing some soul talking, some soul working. I do a lot of journaling. Um, I do a lot of self prepping. Like literally, I, I do like a lot of um, body washes, you know, where we where I scrub the skin so that it uh, literally gets rid of and sheds some old skin so that there's a, a refunctioning going. Sometimes I will do um, fasting. That seems to help me a lot, especially if I'm going, if I know I'm going to do some really deep work, emotional work or spiritual work on my own. Like, I will do some fasting. So prep before you, uh, you know, go into silence or or even if you're just on a daily basis. Like, I've started doing a lot of those things just on a regular basis. Like, I cleanse once a week. Um, I do a lot of journaling. journaling. I do a lot of meditation. Um, you know, I just, I really work on myself every single day. So prep the body, prep the emotions, prep the thoughts, do some soul talking to yourself and just tell the soul to take care of the body before you go to bed, right? So great question, Cindy. And yes, it happens a lot. 
So what other questions do you have today? It's a beautiful day out here in Denver. Sun shining, it's like 60 some degrees. I left a blizzard, so I'm pretty happy. <laughs> I couldn't take it anywhere. I couldn't take the cold. Ugh. You're welcome, Cindy. Anyone else have questions? Might have a little bit of a delay here because there seems to be a, a lag. <laughs> Come to the Mile High City and there's a lag in, in electronics. <laughs> Fun. All right, everyone, if you don't have any more questions, I'm going to log off. Um, you can continue to ask questions in this thread, and I will try to answer them later um, by written message. So I hope you enjoy today. Think about the distractions, what keeps you distracted and fragmented from your own essence, from your own love. Um, and, you know, take care of those things. That's why we're here. That's the purpose, to remember who we are and why we're here. So I love each and every one of you. Have a great evening, and we'll see you next week.